Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how to install Windows 2000 onto a Toshiba Protege 2000. This laptop came out in 2002 and was the slimmest laptop available at the time. To do this, I need a few things. First, I need a modern PC. I also need a USB flash drive. Because the laptop was so slim, it did not come with a built-in CD drive. Therefore, I need to use an external one. In terms of software, I need Windows 2000. Here, I am getting the one with Service Pack 4. Finally, I need all the drivers, and there are a lot of drivers for Windows 2000. I begin by first extracting Windows 2000 and then burning it onto a CD. Next, I copy over all the drivers onto the USB flash drive. Now we're ready to start installing Windows. I connect the external USB CD drive to the laptop. I'm using a cable that has two connections to the laptop. This is because old laptops don't have enough power on single USB ports to power the CD drive. I hold down F12 while booting so the boot screen pauses, giving me time to put the CD in and select the CD drive to boot from. If you're having trouble booting from the CD, sometimes it helps to wait a while before selecting the CD drive and booting. I usually try to give the CD drive enough time to spin up before continuing with booting from the CD. It is critical right here to quickly select the drive you want to install Windows onto. If you wait too long and the CD drive stops spinning, then the installation will fail. I have an example of that at the end of this video. Here Windows is prompting for the service pack for CD, just hit OK and continue. If the screen ever turns off, just press any key on the keyboard and the screen will turn back on.
I respect intellectual property and do not promote software piracy. At certain points, Windows might prompt you for the CD because the CD drive has spun down. Just hit retry a few times and the setup should continue. And now for some awkward silence. Once I finished installing Windows, now I need to install all the drivers. I disconnect the CD drive and plug in the USB flash drive. The only note here is to install the Toshiba common modules first as some of the other drivers rely on it. Here, it's asking for the audio driver. I mistakenly thought it was on the Windows 2000 CD. I hold down the escape key so that I can go into BIOS to set the hard drive as the first boot device. And that's it, all the drivers have been installed. This is an earlier attempt when I took too long to select the drive to install Windows 2. In case if you're wondering why we took this approach to install Windows, the Porta-J2000 came with a special kind of hard drive. It's also the same hard drive that the original iPod uses. Here, I'm disconnecting the power so that I can get the hard drive out to take a look. As you can see, the connector is different and I can't use my IDE to USB adapter. Here we compare it with a normal laptop hard drive. I hope this has helped.